Well, how did the meeting go last night, Siobhan? Not good, Uncle Dan. Not good. I see. Bureaucrats from the East reckon it's not economically viable. And anyway, with the recession, there's no funding available. So, it looks as if I'll have to wait another while. And I don't have much time left. I want to hear the train come down the tracks one more time before I pass on. I know, I know. You can understand that, can't you, Siobhan? It's all I have to live for, to see the train come down the tracks. When I was a youngster, I used to catch the 310 to Clearmaris every week from here. And I want to do it again. I want to do it again, Siobhan. I know. You'll have to make it happen. There has to be another way. Maybe I can. You think you can? There was a man I used to know years ago, an old friend. He was very dynamic. He could get things done, make things happen, you know what I mean? Maybe it's time I looked him up again. He's not here right now. Where would I find him? Who's asking? My name is Siobhan. I'm an old friend of his. He's way up on the mountain counting the sheep. You won't make it up in that joke. He'll have to use Shanks Mare. Sorry? Whoa. <laughs> Thanks. How are you, Sean? What do you want? Do you not know me, Sean? Siobhan? Siobhan! My God! A blast from the past! <laughs> it's been a long time. Over 20 years. 20 years? Been that long? God. You're looking well. The years have been good to you. And you haven't changed a bit. How did you find me up here? Made a few inquiries, got lost a few times. <laughs> yeah, pretty remote, all right. But it's beautiful up here, so quiet. Yeah, no one to bother you up here. I want to talk to you about something. Can we walk? Yeah, sure. So what are you doing with yourself? <laughs> oh, <laughs> moved around a lot. Um, about five years ago, I, I met someone. Um, mm -hmm. She is a boy, and well, we, we settled down up here and uh, do a bit of organic sheep farming. Far from the madding crowd. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm uh, sorry it didn't work out, Siobhan. You know, like between us. Me too. I waited, you know. <laughs> well, very busy those times, you know. Community, activist. A lot of projects moving around here and there, you know. I know. That's what I want to ask you about now. I have another project, assignment, whatever you call it, what you like. I'm afraid, Siobhan, those days are over. My community activist days are long gone. Well, I don't want to go back there now. At least hear me out. Okay. A few years ago, I got involved with a group that want, whose aim was to rebuild a, a railway track out west. Yeah. For a while, it seemed possible. But then the recession hit and the powers that be back east said it was uneconomically viable and funding is impossible. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry you've come to the wrong man. I don't have any funds either. I don't want your money, Sean. I want your help. You can, you're our last hope. You can get things done. You see, the people in the West are isolated, abandoned. It seems as if the East has everything and the West has nothing. If we had this railway line, it would make such a difference. Yeah. Give people a bit of a lift. Huh? <laughs> you haven't lost your sense of humour. Can you help? Yeah. You're not asking much. I know it's an enormous task, but we can't wait around for the government anymore to help us. We have to help ourselves, whatever it takes. Look, Siobhan, I'd like to help your people, but my community activity days are over. I just don't want to go back there again. Can I show you something? Yeah, sure. Who's this? This is my uncle. He's an old man. And for the last five years, he's been sitting at the side of the abandoned railway line, waiting for a train. The 310 to Clare Morris. You see, when he was a boy, he used to travel that train with his father. And he wants, once before he dies, to travel it again. Is that too much to ask? To give an old man one trip on a train, the 310 to Clare Morris? What makes you think that I can help? You have contacts. You, you can get things done. You have a way of sidestepping bureaucracy. Yeah, but like... All our organization will help you. We have hundreds of men and women unemployed. They, they'd work voluntarily. They have nothing else to do. Even the children would help. I don't know. Oh, no, Sean, not that again. I thought you'd given all that up. I know, it's just... It's just what? You just want to be away again so you can be on the road. I don't think I could stand that anymore. All those meetings every night of the week and the drinking sessions afterwards. Not knowing when you'd come home or if you'd ever come home. Wondering if I'd find you dead on the street after one of those fights that always seemed to happen after those meetings. It's just that this is such a good cause. Is she? It's not like that. That, that's all over. Is it? It is. That's all in the past. All right, Sean. Go if you must. There's no guarantee I'll be here when you get back. You take good care of your mother now, Liam, while I'm away. You hear? Do you have to go, Sean? I do. But I'll be back soon. You take good care now, you hear? And look after the sheep. Don't go, Sean, please. I have to go, but I'll be back, I promise. Come back, John! John! join you. Be our guest, councillor. Want a coffee? No, thanks. I just wanted to say how sorry I was how things turned out the other night. It's not your fault. 
You're just a small cog in a big wheel. I know, but I hate to be the bearer of bad news. And I know how passionate ye feel about this project and all the work that you and the local committee have put into it. It's so unfortunate that the economic climate is so bad. I know. That's why I've embarked on an alternative course of action. Oh? It's all hush-hush at the moment, but I'll let you know of any developments. Well, fair dues to you, Siobhan. You don't give up easily. Mm -hmm. I'll say that for you. If I can be of any assistance, you know I'm always available. You know that. Don't worry, Councillor. We'll call on you. This alternative course of action, it sounds very mysterious. Would you care to elaborate? Not just yet, Eilish. Not until everything is in place. But then you'll be the first to know, I assure you. I keep them moving! Stay with them! Keep them together! Look at the bus! Go shoot that gun that causes stampede! This stupid gumshine! What did you do that for? Thanks for your help, mister. I do, partner. Sean. Sean. Well, if it isn't Sean. You've changed somewhat, partner. Yeah. Older and dafter. How have you been? I oh, know you don't get too rich passing the time with mountain yews. Now, you didn't come out all this way today to pass the time of day with me. What's on your mind? A job. Now you won't get rich on this either. In fact, there's no pay at all. <laughs> well, I'm used to that. What's it about? Building a stretch of railway. <laughs> I say one thing, your sense of humour hasn't changed anyways. I'm serious, Sean. I know you're trying to put a team together. You're top on my list. How many do you have? I knew I could rely on you, partner. Yeah, I should make a change from herding sheep, that is. Like old times, huh? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Hello. 
Sinead, and she sings. Buy me a drink and um, I might be able to help you. Drink for the lady. There's a town about 15 miles north of here. You might find her there. Thank you. Enjoy your drink. I'm moving on, rambling wide. Say goodbye to the ones behind. I don't care where I'm heading to. Need to roam on, need to break through. Nobody knows where I'm going to. A lot of people say I should have gone sooner. But you've been there. You've been at my side. Wherever I fall, wherever I Thank you. songs. Nothing else. And don't forget that. I couldn't help overhearing you're looking for some excitement. Hey, listen here, mister. Like my boyfriend said, I just sing. I don't do anything else. We don't want you to do anything else. Look, let, let us introduce ourselves. I, I'm Sean, and, and this is Shams. Congratulations. I'm Sinead. Now, what is this about? Well, we're building a railway. I was a farmer and she was a dreamer. It was a So, if we expect the project to be finished hopefully within the year and to get massive cooperation from, you know, from all of the people. So, what do you say, Sinead? Will you join us? All I have to do 
Sing and look pretty. And we could do with your architectural skills as well. It does sound kind of exciting. How many do you have? like we're being followed, but I'd never have guessed. How would you figure that out? It looks like Porrick. Well, we don't need him. Hey, I, I hear you guys are looking for some extra bodies. Well, wh what can you do? I can play the guitar. That's not much use when you're trying to build a railway. No, but it could add some atmosphere. We don't need atmosphere. We need money and muscle. Well, how many you got? All right, what the hell? Twenty-five, boys. You pulled that car from under your sleeve. Are you accusing me of cheating? Yeah. You know what I do with cheats. What do you do with cheats, mister? Go on. You might as well tell us. I always give them a second chance. Well, well, well. I can hardly believe it. Howdy, boys. Howdy, partner. Last time I saw you guys, you were herding sheep. Yeah, I see you were still at your old profession. Well, a man's got to try and earn an honest shilling, you know. Look, can we talk? Sure. What brings you to these here parts, as they say? We've got a job on. Bank? Railway. Train job? I didn't think the trains were carrying cash these days. Just be serious for a minute. Okay. For one minute. What? We're thinking of building a railway. <laughs> you tell him to be serious, will you? He is. Well, you've come to the right man. If you want to know everything there is about building railways, you just ask old spades. Because Spades knows everything about building railways. <laughs> Look, by the way, thanks for saving my ass. See you, gents. <laughs> Look, we're serious about this. We're putting a team together to build a railway. And we want you to be a part of that team. <laughs> what do you want me for? To use your special skills at the card play to generate some money. See the quotation? Yeah. Do you think will you, will you go ahead? No, I, I'm not that busy at the moment now. No, I, I in fact I could start in the morning if you wanted. Uh, yeah, well maybe now I could do it a small bit cheaper. Right. 
Right, yeah. I see. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Damn. What them doing? No, no, he's, he's not going ahead. He can't get alone. Oh, don't worry, something will turn up. I need a bit of cash of a hairdresser's appointment. Another one? Well, it's nearly a week since my last one. How much do you need? Just give me a hundred euro. A hundred? Jesus, money doesn't grow on trees these days. Now, this kind of thing will have to stop. Thanks. Misery guts. Hello, me home. I didn't expect to see you around here. Well, I, I haven't come here looking for my wife, uh, if that's what you think. Look, it, it wasn't uh, what, what I think. Look, you don't have to explain. I understand. Uh, these things happen. Look, I, I'd invite you in, but uh, Moira is inside uh, getting ready to go to the town. Uh, I know, the I know. How is my uh, wife? <laughs> Pretty expensive to run. Mm, well, that can be a problem with second-hand goods. Nice house you've got here. Yeah, it'd be nicer if it was paid for. Anyway, I'm sure you didn't ride all the way up here now just had my, my house. <laughs> no. What's a, on your mind? A job. Keep talking. Building a railway. How much? Nothing. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't do charity. In fact, I, I'm going to need charity. Well, no harm in asking. <laughs> Look, I'll, I'll have to think about it. Well, don't take too long. We're... Pulled up over the road three miles away by a lake. How many of you? As I see it, I might as well be working for fake all as sitting at home doing fake all. All right, let's move out.
Tomas. Hello, Tomas. Should I know you, friend? You should. You look kind of familiar. It is. I can't be that drunk. It is. Sean. Sean, it is you. for sore eyes. Or should I say red ones? <laughs> Sit down and have a drink. Uh, no, no thanks. There was a time when you would. Yeah, I know, but I've, uh, I've mended my ways. I wish I could say the same. So, uh, have you been, Tomas? Oh, hanging in. My knees begin to run out. Is that why you have the gear up for sale? Well, what can you do? Mm. Anyway, what brings you to this one-hour stand? Another job. Another job? Another job? I thought you'd give all that up. Yeah, so did I. And what is it this time? I'm uh, building a railway. <laughs> <laughs> well, you haven't lost your sense of humor. No, no seriously. Seriously. I'm building a railway. You're building a railway? That sounds ridiculous. Yeah, well, an old priest built an airport not far from here a few years back. Well, I heard that too. Mm. And you know what they say. If you think about something long enough, it might just happen. Mm. Anyway, sit down. No, listen. What? Will you help? Help you what? To build this railway. What do you want with a loser like me? You're not a loser, Tomas. You're the best there is with a digger. Has been past tense. Present tense. You're in your prime, Tomas. You're the best there is. Nobody can handle a digger like you can. No. My hand isn't as steady as it used to be. I've lost my nerve. There was a time. There was a time I'd bring that machine anywhere. Tops of mountains. Down the valleys. Streams. Marshes, bogs, bottoms, you name it. But it's gone. There comes a time when a man knows his limits. Look, Tomas, I think you have choices to make. You can sit here crying into your drink, feeling sorry for yourself. Or you can get up off your arse and join us. Help us build this railway. Make your mark. Now, which is it to be? How many have you got in your team? How many do you need? Get cleaned up. We start in two days.
his 50 miles of disused track, all in need of repair, and in some cases, replacement. How long do you think it'll take, Sean? I don't know. Six months, maybe longer. We have to have fair progress made before the first snows. And a bit of luck, we'll all be home by Christmas. Well, folks, what's it to be? Well, as I said, it bit sitting at home doing fake all. But I still think it's crazy. I'll give it my best shot. Right. Our first job is to recruit all these people that have volunteered to help. Men, women and children. Get as many as you can. I don't care where you get them, but get them. We break them into small working groups. Set out every 10 miles along the track. Some of them starting in Colony and working south. More working from Clermaris and working north. Any questions? Yeah, what will these volunteers be doing? Fencing and clearing the track. Removing weeds and undergrowth. What about the sleepers? They'll, be, they'll need to be replaced with reinforced concrete. We can't afford that. We'll use wood from the forestry. But the first thing we need to do is to stress test the existing sleepers. How the hell are we going to do that? We get the moss to walk up and down it a few times. <laughs> oh, oh. Very funny. How would you like to be stressed? <laughs> we'll all have to be stress tested before this is over. Right, right, right. That's enough. Right. We start first thing tomorrow morning. Aren't you forgetting something? What's that? Cash. We need a bit of cash for the job. I'm aware of that. Maybe we could try a bank. <laughs> oh yeah, no bother at all. We just walk into any old bank and they'll give us a loan. I'm sure they'd be delighted to oblige. Get a real me hall, would ya? Maybe they could be persuaded. You mean rob it? Huh. Isn't that kind of illegal? I'm not going to jail. Look, we don't have to do it. Have you got anyone in mind? Yeah. Oh, ever heard of the Ox Mountain Gang? the gun. Wouldn't it be easier to drop the gun first and then put up my hands? Gee, Jack, you always got things arse way. Sean, hey, Sean, why you sheep shaking son of a bitch? Hey. I don't believe it. Hey, good to see you, Jack. You too, hey. Sean. <laughs> it's been a long time. It sure has. Hey, come on. Let's go and meet the boys. Okay, boys, okay. Hi, boys. This is Sean, an old friend of mine from the old days. How are you, boys? How are you? Howdy. Howdy. Um, back to the cars, boys. Come on, let's have a chat and a drink. Sorry, I don't have a glass. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> How's business, Jack? Business been it's been real slow lately. You know, I had to lay off some of the fellas. This recession. It's hitting us hard. Yeah, recession, recession. That seems to be the bull's word lately. And um, might have a bit of a job for you. I, uh, I want you to organize a bank withdrawal for me. Keep talking. I have a job on. I need some cash. What kind of job? To build a 50 mile stretch of railway. <laughs> You're going to need some cash for that. 
Listen, I'll see what I can organise. I suppose the usual terms and conditions apply and all that shit. <laughs> you get the cash for me, Jack. We'll talk about conditions and terms afterwards. Yeah. You can depend on the Ox Mountain Gang. Good to see you, Sean. You too, Jack. I'll be in touch. Boys, I think we're back in business. You mean there's a bank job? Yeah. You think you could suss out a suitable bank in a small, quiet little town? Sure, just leave it to me, boss. I might be mistaken, but I can't see any sign of a bank in this town. I know for certain there is a bank in this town. You sure you got the right town? Give me a look at that. It's Kaluni, you gobshite. Come on, boys, let's get out of here. What now? Well, I know where there's another bank just ripe for the taking. chasing around the country after bank robbers. I have a pile of paperwork to do before the Stacker Court tomorrow. Jesus, I've got round up the reserve forces. I'll go after them myself. You're wasting your time. Anyway, how much did they get away with? 80 euro? 80 euro? That won't pay for my busted tyre. Somehow, boys, I feel this has not been a very good day. Hey, Jack, do you, th do you think you could look at my arm? Oh, it's okay, kid. It's only a scratch. Wait, hey, boy. The, the posse's on our trail. Well, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Do it, my boy. 
bust a tire. There's only one thing we can do. Jeez, I was attached to that bike. Yeah. There are times when a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Like there's a hunter down, there's one of them right in double. We'll soon catch up with them now. No, wait a minute. It'll soon be there. Maybe we should camp here tonight and pick up the trail in the morning. Well, what about the bank? Doesn't someone need to get back to open the bank in the morning? What's the point? There's no money left in the bank. The bastards took the last 80 euros. Anyhow, it's not our job going after feckin' bank robbers. We're only bank clerks. Well, what can I do? The sergeant is busy, there's no reserve forces, and I'm determined to get those bastards. If it's the last thing I do. Just might be. <laughs> might be what? The last thing you do. <laughs> Can you all hear me there? First of all, I'd like to welcome everyone to this public meeting of the full-time dairy farmers of the area. There's plenty of room here at the front. There's no need to have you all crowding down there at the back. Now, I'm sure you all heard the rumour that's going the rounds that work is about to commence on the reconstruction of the railway line from Colony to Clare Morris. Now, there's no need for me to point out what this means to us full-time dairy farmers. Well, then, what does it mean? I tell you what it means. It means that our track is going to be finished. And if you have land on both sides, you won't be able to drive your cows across the track. To be to the railway and bring in just you to be more infrastructure and to be more concrete. What's going to happen to our nice green seas? To be concrete everywhere. More developers and more infrastructure means more people, and that means more pollution. More oh, people. cows and day for the ones in grass are in poison with polluted water. More people is, is more traffic and, 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 and more crime. I wonder about the wolves. They won't be able to cross the street. They'll be attacked and molested and raped. A man that lays a hand in my woman, I, 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 I meet him. You know, maybe we should form an inch bomb. No, 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 is to protect the land we love, the, the land of our forefathers fought and, and died for. We cannot allow this, this monstrosity to happen. God knows we are an endangered species of as we are. We have to stop this monstrosity!
No. <clears throat> How can I help you? We're looking for legal advice. We're representing a group of people called the Rats. Rats? Residents along the tracks. You see, for the people living along the railway lines, they feel the reconstruction of the railway will cause a lot of inconvenience, annoyance and upsetment. How? Oh. Well, first of all, there'll be noise. And the vibration from the trains. And in winter, if there's snow and ice, the train could skid in and run into one of our houses. And worst of all, there's the invasion of our privacy. You see, the people on the trains will be looking through the windows and gawking into our houses and back gardens. So, what do you want me to do? Well, we want legal advice on how we can stop this. You mean, stop the reconstruction of the railway? Of course. Oh, well, no. Well, the best advice that I can give you now would be to go back to your organisation and the other members. What is it? Rats? Rats? Whatever you call yourself. Go back and tell them. They should be so lucky as to have houses of their own to live in. Well, you think of all the people that have no accommodation, no roof over their head, evicted, can't pay their mortgages. Oh, who wouldn't love a lovely little quiet house in the countryside beside the railway track where they could hop on a passing train any time they liked. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go. I have to go to the opticians. Well, now, what do you make of that? Well, I know one thing. We'll see this further with or without legal advice. Get your heads on, or we want this job finished for the weekend. Break in at the storage depot. At the quarry? Much taken. Everything. Girders, sleepers, even the bloody chips. Jesus, that took some organising. It was straight through the gates. The men shite at them. But how how did they find that place? That's that's pretty isolated. They must have been watching us. Oh, we're tipped off. Well, how did your venture go? Ah, it didn't. All we got was 80 euro. 80 euro? So that won't even buy the petrol. Look, Jack, we need more money. And we need it fast. We've stolen materials to replace now. Look, I, I'll talk to the other gangs in the territory and, and maybe we can we can all band together and we'll organise a bit of fundraising or something. Maybe uh, hold a few collections. <laughs> well, if I know them outlaws, they're more likely to be holding up the collections. Now listen up everyone. I've asked you all to come here today to raise money for a very worthy cause. The reconstruction of the railway line between Colooney and Clearmorris. And I want you to spread out over all the area and get as much cash as you can. I don't care how you get it, only get it. And remember to keep out of trouble. So get going. Okay, now, I'm going to play it on your single line, excuse me, your single line game.
6 and 5, 65. 1 and 2, number 12. 6 and 3, 63. All the sevens, 77. a train driver. A train driver? Well, I figure if this railway of yours gets going, I'll be out of a job. No one will want to travel by bus anymore. Not really, Fanula, that's ridiculous. Is it? Think about it. If you had a choice of travelling from Sligo to Galway by train or by bus, which would you choose? I don't know. You might think it's a noble thing you're doing getting this railway going, but it might not just suit everyone. 
there could be a lot of bus drivers out of work and they may not take too kindly to it. Just think about it. That sounds like a mild threat, Fanula. Take it whatever way you want. Do to change up menu. Oh, what I wouldn't give for some nice home cooking. Nice, mm -hmm. juicy steak, mushroom, onion, peas, carrots. I'll buy a slice of warm apple pie. I should have stayed. Seamus, uh, I could do with a progress report. Not much to report. About 10 miles cleared. But we need cash bad for new materials. Well, this just might solve our problem. Thanks, Jack. I knew you'd come through. Sorry I can't wait for lunch. Oh, on second thoughts, I don't think so. That ought to keep you going for a bit. Well, it's due for a start, but we need more cash. Spades. I think it's time that you tried your hand at a bit of stud 25. I thought you'd never ask. A lot of fat cats out there made money on the back of the Celtic Tiger. I think it's time to relieve them of a bit. It'll be my pleasure. Take Sinead with you. She might be a help. I don't know. Well, it sure as well haven't the goodwill of everybody out there. We're going to have to double the guard at night. Looks like I'm going to have to do some more gambling.
Houston, we have a problem. That makes two. Go on. My little digger has been stolen. Are you sure? Well, someone hardly borrowed it. Now what are we going to do? There's only one thing to do. Let's find out who stole it and get the damn thing back. I know a mate of mine across the mountain that has one. That'll take days to get. Maybe not. I know a shortcut through the hills. Yeah, well, Thomas, you go and do that. Seamus, you stay here and take charge on this spot. Spades, you come with me. We're going to track down that digger. Yeah, I reckon we can follow their trail across them there hills. Ahem. Any chance of a lift? Where's your own bike? Punctured. Again? Well, looks only as far as the garage. I'll hire another one out yeah, when we get well, there. Yeah, well, come on, make it snappy. This trail is going cold. Ferguson went through about two hours ago. Seems like they're heading north. I'd say they came this way. Looks like tire tracks to me. Fresh ones too. You reckon? Come on. Sorry for the trespass, ma'am. Uh, it's just that we're, we're looking for a stolen digger and the tracks led us up here. Well, there's no stolen diggers round these parts. Unless there might be one hiding behind the bushes there or lurking behind the ditch. Anyway, who the hell are ye? I'm Sean and this is Spades. Uh, we, we work on the railway. Around these parts I'm known as the Widow McCone. Is your husband around? If he was, would I be known as the Widow McCone? I'm sorry, ma'am. Don't be sorry. I wasn't a bit sorry. He was a useless bastard anyway. You got family? Like I said, he was a useless bastard. In every way. You sure you didn't see any digger going through this way? The tracks, they led us right up here. Oh, that was probably old MacDonald. He is a farm across the hill. <laughs> Are you trying to be funny? 
I'm deadly serious, mister. He drags his equipment across my land, claims he has a right of way. That's why I'm putting up this electric fence to keep the bastard out. Sorry for troubling you, ma'am. Looks like we better head over to Owl McDonald's place. That's kind of heavy work for a woman. Here, let me give you a hand. Nice meeting you, ma'am. Old MacDonald's farm. Are you trying to be funny? My name's Sean. This here is Spades. Well, I'm Martin. The old is a, a sort of a nickname. How come? I got a reputation for staying up late at night reading. What do you fellas want? Information. About what? About a stolen digger. Huh. Huh? I wouldn't know anything about that. We think you would. Now listen. This is my property. You're trespassing. I suggest you turn and go. You seem to be a pretty big dairy farmer. How many cows are you milking? About 50. Not that it's any business of yours. Well, you could be milking a few less in hey. a few minutes. Hey, what, what are you doing? I'm going to shoot some of your cows. You... you wouldn't dare. He would. No, no, hold on, hold on. Let, let, let's be reasonable here. OK, then. Start talking. What's it worth? Our silence. <laughs> Look, MacDonald, you and your dairy farmer friends around here are an endangered species. The folks around here hear that you and your dairy farmer friends are against the, against the building of this railway. You, you'll be strung up from the nearest lamppost. Yep. Now, you've got five seconds to start talking. Right? One, two, three, four. No, wait, 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 wait. Listen, it, it was burned out at an old quarry about a mile south of here. Look, I, I had no involvement. I'm, I'm only following orders. Whose orders? I can't tell you that. Now, MacDonald, I'm going to give you some orders. You and your dairy farmer friends stay away from the railway track and from our equipment. As it happens, we have borrowed another digger and it's en route. So we're going to do what we came to do. We're going to build this railway. And you can pass that message on to your puppeteer.
Lagers are full on polka. On the re... The re... Spell any words you can't pronounce, please. Shut up, smart ass. Reconstruction of a railway line stretching from Coolanny to Clare Morris. The work is being undertaken by local volunteers, many of whom are unemployed construction workers. Materials are being... Pro pro Spell it. Procured from local forests and quarries. And the project has been supervised and coordinated by a group known locally as the Dynamic Seven. <laughs> oh, geez, they've even got our mugshots printed. Yeah, <laughs> they should have printed Wanted on your one. <laughs> hey, <laughs> cut it out, lads. Cut it out. I didn't know you were on a pilgrimage, boys. <laughs> I hope you said a few for us humble sinners. What I wouldn't give for a nice hot bath. What I wouldn't give for a nice cool beer. Jeez, we got bush right. Stole the tractor, our digger, and our guns. And your shoe. This spades, you're a mighty observant fellow. Any idea who did it? I have never seen a crowd like that before in my life. They were all talking some queer gibberish. Well, I'd say it was my riders. My riders? Yeah, real mean. Now, hold on a minute. The my riders are a peaceful tribe. They just ride around the mountain and don't disturb anyone. Yeah, well, I'd say it was probably a bunch of renegades. You know, with this recession going on, they're strapped for cash and just roaming around and robbing whoever's passed through the mountain. Yeah, but they don't steal tractors and diggers. Well, these did. And it's my guess that someone put them up to it. Who? Same ones that stole the first digger. But how did they know our route? Apart from yourself and Porig, did anyone else know? Spades, Seamus. Yourself and me, Hall. Anyone else? No one except my mate, and he'd hardly steal back his own digger. So, apart from the seven of us, no one else knew. Sure, all we need is just more cash so we can buy back another digger. Maybe we should do some more fundraising. 
no point robbing any more banks. <laughs> they have no cash left. I know. What about a church social? Okay. You mean a church social in aid of a new digger? Well, why not? I'll spread the word. Yeah. Could do it an old foot stomping shindig. You know it's years since I was at a good old church social. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's get back to work. On your mind, Sean? I think we have a spy in our midst. A spy? Yeah. You think about it. As you said, those Moy riders are peaceful. So someone put them up to stealing that digger. And that someone was tipped off as to the route that Tomas and Michal were taking. And the only ones that knew were the seven of us. So you're saying one of the seven of us is a spy? Yeah. The question is, which one? Association. All of our members had their money lodged with the nationalised uh, Clunacool Bank. Mm -hmm. However, we were tipped off that there was going to be a raid by the Ox Mountain Gang and we had the cash withdrawn. Lucky for you. What we did not realise was that the Ox Mountain Gang were going to hand over the money to the railway development. <laughs> Which I heard amounted to some total of 80 euro. This briefcase contains 80,000 euro and our members are making it available for the cause. This is extremely generous of you. I assure you it's all very badly needed. It's a very good cause and can only bring economic prosperity to the region. We really don't know how to thank you for this generosity. Perhaps when your railway is up and running you can arrange some free travel passes for our members. I'm sure that can be arranged, Frank. Thanks again, Frank. Thank you, Eilish. Thank you. Oh, Eilish, just for the record, let me have a receipt, please. Ha, <laughs> that'll be no problem, Frank. Thanks, bye. What's it looking like? Here, take a look. Yeah, looks like there's a good deal of mature trees on that hill. Yeah, should get a good lot of railway sleepers out of that lot. Try to ride down and take a closer look. I'd find mm. out who owns it and do some kind of a deal. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Hey! Hey! Hey, how's it going? Good. Hey, I got some posts for you there, Sean. Post? How's the line clearing going? Eh, hey, not so bad. The Curry gang are halfway between Curry and Charlestown now, and there's a new gang just started in Swinford, heading for Kilchima. Yeah, good. Hey, we're going to have to do something about this grub, though. They're getting awful pissed off with these beans and chips every day. The Curry gang are threatening to go. Well, fuck them. What do they want? Curry chips? They were told it wasn't going to be a picnic. Look, you're going to have to make them some promises that you know you can't keep. Look, I'll make no promises. I'll do my best. Not bad news, is it? Depends on what way you look at it. Look, I'm going to have to disappear for a couple of days. You take over, uh, keep things moving. You're in charge. Yeah, sure. Well, well. 
if it ain't the Lone Ranger or Hopalong Cassidy or maybe it's Roy Rogers. Tell me, what do we call you now? Sean will do. You're looking well, God damn you. Younger than your years. Yeah. The years have been good to you too, Nora. You're well preserved. Well, I suppose it's all the exercise and fresh air I get from looking after these horses. Well, how have you been? How have I been? After 25 years. You want to know how I've been? Well, tell me. Would you like a year-by-year -year account? Or would a general synopsis do? Look, Nora. I know I should have kept in contact, but well, I, I had nothing to offer. I nearly starved myself several times, and well, then I, I heard you'd married a wealthy horse breeder. And yeah, he was breeding more than horses. Still, at least I got a good settlement out of it. Um, what do you want? I presume you've seen this. And I presume you are aware that one of the Dynamic Seven is my, sorry, our daughter, Sinead. Yes, I, I've been, well, monitoring your progress from, from a distance. Can I ask you to do me a favor? It's not much after 25 years. What? Will you promise me that you won't tell Sinead that you're her long-lost father? <laughs> How do you know I haven't told her already? I know you haven't. She would have told me. After all, she keeps me well informed of all her adventures and activities with the railway. She certainly seems to be enjoying it. Yeah. She's a talented kid. Adventurous. Just like her father. And I think she's trying to find herself. I think she got over the absent father bit a long, long time ago. And I want to keep it that way. You know she has a boyfriend. I know. Horik. She seems serious about him. Look, I think one man in her life is enough at the moment. Certainly plenty to deal with. And she certainly does not need you go meddling into her life. Okay. So will you promise me? I suppose I owe you that much. Yeah, I, I promise. You do, and more. You have no idea how much I've resented you over the years. Still, that's water under the bridge now. Well, for what it's worth, I'm sorry. So am I, Sean. So am I. Dare I ask, are you in a relationship at present? I don't know. I could be in transition. That's the story of your life. Look, I know you've come a long distance. And I would ask you to stay over, but... I made that mistake once. Anyway, if you'd excuse me now, I have a horse to take care of. Go on. Get up, Angel. Go on. Here, take a look. Well done, good work. Yeah, but it's not our work. What do you mean it's not your work? I mean that on Friday evening last, myself and Michal went into the wood and we marked every tree suitable for felling. But over the course of the weekend, some person, our persons unknown, went into the wood and cut them down and took them away. So, they were tipped off again. This will set us back weeks. 
There was enough timber in that wood to do the stretch from Tubber Curry to Charlestown. Well, they're just going to have to find another wood. This time make sure they're not stolen. Find another wood? Ha! Just like that. I think it might be easier to use reinforced concrete. Yeah, and a lot more expensive and we don't have the money. You're just going to have to find another wood. You have to search every mountain, valley and dab farm in the west. I thought sheep could be thick. I think he went into town to meet someone. As we know. Okay. All right, night everyone. See you early in the morning. Night. Are you all right? It's a bit quiet than usual. Yeah. Something bothering you? I'm afraid I have to leave. Leave? Why? Well, I got a bit of bad news from back home. Doubtful I had an accident. Is he all right? What happened? He'd be all right. Ran into the back wall of the slatted house. Turned it over. The tractor, that is, no, not the slatted house. Cracked a few ribs, but he'll be all right this time. Is that drink now or speeding? Both. I've warned him often enough. They can't be told now, old fellas, these days. Mad for drinking and bloody speed. Well, this'll teach him. I hope so. Anyways, I have to go back, because it's coming into a busy time of year. That's a shame. You tell Sean yet? Nope. I think I'll leave it till the morning. Can't see him being that bothered anyhow. I'm only here because of you. So, where does this leave us? I don't know, Sinead. I've been doing some thinking. I'm not going to immigrate. Things might be bad here now, but it's not going to be like this forever. I'm going to stick it out. You seem like you made up your mind. I have. See, the thing is, Dowfell has given me a sight on the land back home and well, I want to build a house on it, and I don't want to live in it on my own. Is that a proposal? Might be. Think about it. Either way, whether it's down under or up yonder here with me, you have to make your mind up. I'm go I have to go. Yeah. You know, I saw come into town the Kilroys. 
Are you sure? I'm positive. Certain? Certain. Well, go immediately and get the sergeant. Okay. And out that way, out the okay. back way. Okay. Okay. Whiskey. Make it three. You're spilling this. Sorry about that. Leave the bottle. Keep it that way. You plan on staying here long? Just a little bit of business to take care of. And then we'll be on our way. You see that you do. We want no trouble here. You hear? Whatever you say, Sergeant. What does he mean, no trouble? We like to cause a bit of trouble every town we ride into. Take it easy now, John Paul. Now I want to do some shooting and drinking and liven up this shithole town. John Paul, we don't want any trouble. We've a job to do. Well, did you get the supplies? Yeah, yeah we dropped them off the quarry. It took you long enough. Well, it's kind of thirsty work, so we went in for a pint. Yeah, just as well we did. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. You know who we met in town? Who? Oh. The Kilroy boy. The Kilroy boy? Oh, I wonder what's bringing them fellas into town. into town. Well, I don't know, but I sure as hell don't think they're here for the church social. Speaking of which, isn't that on tonight? <laughs> it sure as hell is. How oh, late you will excuse me, gents. I've got to retire to my quarters and tidy myself up. Okay, lads. Okay. Let's, we'll finish up here for the evening, right? Everyone back here at six o'clock in the morning. Genesis. You take Sinead, Spades and Kamas and resume work on that stretch of track out at Nottadu. Miha, you take charge of these lads here. Start here, back here again in the morning. I want to try and get this finished by the end of the week. Do you go to this here church social? No, no, I, I think I'll, I'll sit this one out. Anyhow, I, I'm knackered and I have an early start in the morning. Haven't we all? Are you going? Yeah. You go ahead. I'll catch up with you later.
I've seen you somewhere before. Is that a genuine question or a chat of mine? Oh, I know you. You're the widow McCall. Remember the day when you had a chair? Mind if I join you? Free country? Do you want a cigarette? Well, no, I, I don't smoke. Oh, I just came out for a bit of uh, fresh air. I'm sure. Look, have you something on your mind? Well, now that you mention it, you see, for the last few weeks I've been living on beans and greasy chips. I was thinking, I'll go out some night for a nice juicy steak. I just thought maybe you'd uh, like to join me. No. Oh well, no harm in asking. But if you don't mind, why don't you come to my house and I'll cook you a nice juicy steak? Well, that's mighty kind of you, ma'am. Friday, say, at uh, 8 o'clock. Lovely. No. We've got to be going in or people will only start talking. <laughs> You're right there. Hello. Hello. It, it looks like there are more supplies here at the quarry now, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I'm here now. But you can drive up, can't you? Oh, no, 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 th 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 there's no one round, sure. Everyone is at the church social. Not uh, everyone, Miha. Sean, what are you doing here? I can ask you the same question. Well, I, I just thought I'd, I'd keep an eye on things, you know. It's, it's like a night that stuff could be stolen and what's with the church social and all. Who are you talking to? Uh, just a mate of mine. Look, Miha. the game is up. I know what you've been up to. The only question is, why? Money. When you're down on your luck, you'll do anything for money. And as I said to you before, that ex-wife of yours, she's a pretty expensive commodity to run. Well, you should have thought of that before you shacked up with her. Look, at I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, Sean. So am I. Who are you working for? Oh God, I, 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 I couldn't tell you that. It's, 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 it's more than my life of It Doesn't matter. I'll find out anyway, one way or another. So, where do we go from here? We go nowhere. You do. There's a bus leaving town at noon tomorrow. Be on it. Handbag stuff. Handbag stuff. Yeah, handbag punches. What other kind of punches are there? Well, 
some fiasco of a church social. I know. It really was a poor turnout. But you what would you expect, having it in the middle of the week? But the hall was booked up every weekend. And the fact that it clashed with two funerals, an underage football final, and a bingo session wouldn't have helped. Also, I think word got out that uh, Tomas was playing. <laughs> anyway, how much do we take in? 550 euros. Oh, Any expenses? The hall committee are looking for 750 in damages. I knew those Kilroys would cause trouble. That Paul John, or, or John Paul, or whatever his name is, little bastard, he's a psychopath. 550? So that means that there wasn't 30 people there. And anyhow, advertising the social in aid of a stolen digger, th that was just daft. No one was going to support that. I know, I suppose I should have said it was in aid of the railway. Yeah. Well, I think Spades had a good night anyway. I seen him wrapped around the fine looking woman there. And I saw them disappear for a while too. Oh look, she went out for a smoke and, and I, I went out for a bit of um, fresh air. Oh, that I don't all. know. I think you a quickie. Oh, it's Jesus, she must be desperate. You're just jealous because you didn't shift or, or score or whatever they call it nowadays. I was playing music or, or, or didn't you notice? You call what you were playing music? I forgot their music from cats fighting at the back of a shed. Come on, button it up the two of you. Listen, we better finish up. We've a hard day's work tomorrow. Oh, I don't mention it. Well, that was the nicest steak I've had for a long time. You sure can cook. Years of practice. Yeah. Hey, more wine. Oh, no thanks. No, I, I best be getting along. I have an early start in the morning. Well, it was nice having you over, Spades. Tell me, what's your real name? Owen. They just call me Spades because of the... Uh, Here. Yeah, but it gets lonely too sometimes. You ever think of getting married again? No. Pity. And you? What about me? You ever think of marrying? Yeah, but that was a long time ago. It's never too late. Ah, you get to a certain age, you get set in your ways. But do you not get tired of moving around all the time and drifting from place to place? Sometimes. Sometimes I yearn for a place of my own. But sure, what's the point? I have no one to share it with. I know how you feel. Would you like a cup of coffee, Owen? Is it alright if I call you Owen? Oh, fine. Sure I'll get used to it again. No, it's, it's late. I'd best be going. Um. Well, thanks again for the lovely evening and the nice meal. You're welcome, Spades. And, and call again sometime if you're passing and feeling peckish. Oh, well, damn and feck it anyway. What's wrong? Puncture. What the hell am I going to do now? Well, you can't go walking back at this hour. You'll have to stay the night. I'll open another bottle of wine. Oh, 
country rules. I hear her voice in the morning, how she calls me. The radio reminds me of my home far away. And driving down the road, I get a feeling that I should have been home yesterday, yesterday. Where the hell have you been? I have been to the mountaintop. I have seen the promised land. Hallelujah! Is he all right? Where was he? Didn't you know? He was having dinner at the Widow McCorn's house last evening. Looks like he a little bit more than dinner. You better get yourself together before Sean comes back. I am together. I have never been more together in all my life. I reckon it's high time we rode out there to shoot the shit out of them. We're nearly a week hanging around this shithole town and I'm getting bored. In our own good time, boys. In our own good time. Willie John. Sean. Meet my two boys. Paddy Joe and John Paul. Boys, say hello to an old mate of mine. Boys, I heard you were in town. Not for long. We kind of got into a little trouble the other night. Sergeant asked us to leave. So I heard. I bet you did. Bad news travels fast. How are you? I'll be all right when the doc sees me. Sit down. Have a drink. Bartender, set them up. Boys, you go practice your darts. Well, I'd like to see. What are you doing around these here parts? Would you believe building a railway? I see. It's going to ask what you were doing around here. But I guess it's got something to do with the railway. Yeah, you could say that. Except it isn't building it, it's demolishing it. Who's hiring you? I can't say that. That's Why not? Client confidentiality. John Paul, take it easy. You know anything I take on, I see it through to the end. So do I, whatever it takes. You know there are women and children working their arses off out there on that line? You're a fool if you're not gone out of there by noon tomorrow. And what if I'm not? Like I said, whatever it takes. Would you endanger the lives of women and children? 
You're the one doing that if you're not gone by noon tomorrow. The way I see it, if you take us on on the tracks, you won't know what to expect. On the other hand, if you decide to settle this thing in town, well, I'll take on two of my best men, and it'll be three against three. If you win, you can ride out there and rip up those tracks. I'll have ensured that there'll be no one to stop you. And if we lose, you'll limp out of town if you're lucky. Now what's it to be, Willie John? You got a deal. We're staying in the OK Hotel. It's on the main street in a small town about seven mile west of here. It's called the Clare. Do you know it? Yeah. I helped to tame it. OK Hotel it is then. Noon. Tomorrow. I'll be there. Yeah, well, it, it looks like it's all set up. It's, it's going to happen in a clear. Outside the OK Hotel. The OK Hotel at clear. Sure brings back memories. Yeah. It's a wild spot in those days. Well, it's pretty quiet now from what I hear. Well, it seems it's going to be pretty wild again tomorrow. Look, lads, I'm, I'm sorry about all this. I, I didn't expect that this was going to turn out to be such a dangerous job. You know, some of us may not come back from this. In other words, some of us might get planted and prayed over. Look, if anyone wants to pull out at this stage, they're perfectly entitled to do so. Well, I'm itching to get at those Kilroys. Especially that little book, John Paul. Me too. Uh, count me in. <laughs> yeah, look. It looks like three of us are going to have to go. Me and two others. How are you going to decide that? We're going to pull straws. Whoever pulls the short one stays behind. I still think we should have ridden out there when we had the chance and shoot the shit out of them. Believe me, it's better this way. Let's go.
rightly, John. Time to even the odds. How about you and me? Your call, Willie John. Get him up! Let him bleed. I, I need a doctor. I need information. Who's paying you? I can't tell you. Client confidentiality. Fuck client confidentiality. Who's paying you? Tell me, or you bleed. Take care of him. Nice looking cows. It'd be a pity if anything were to happen to them. I thought I told you not to come on my property again. And I thought I warned you not to interfere with our equipment. Now the game is up. Willie John Kilroy had a little word in my ear. You're coming with me. You have some explaining to do. Uh, and if I don't? As I said, nice looking cows. It'd be a pity if anything were to happen to them. And this time, I'm not counting to five. Uh, give me 15 minutes to get cleaned up. You've got 10. It's progressing along. We can see that, despite your opposition to it. What the hell are you talking about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. You were against this project from the start. Now look, you be careful what you're saying, mister. I'm very careful what I'm saying. You used old MacDonald to stir up the dairy farmers against this. And that hadn't the desired effect. You brought in your three gunslingers. Now, Councillor McHugh, the game is up. You can't prove anything. Can't I? MacDonald! Come in here. It's through all right. He blackmailed me into stirring up the rest of the dairy farmers against the rebuilding of this railway. I know, no, I shouldn't have heeded them. They're only hindering progress. This isn't progress. It's not viable. It's not economically justified. Any economist will tell you that. Yeah, well, I remember an economist saying something similar about an airport that's built not a hundred miles away from here. Look, Councillor, you can tell your economic friends that you can't judge everything on money and economics. There are other factors, like people and quality of life and a vision of the future. The economists and politicians had a vision when they closed down this track 40 years ago. We wouldn't be trying to do what we have to do today. Look, I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. How much do you want to forget the whole business? I don't want your money. In fact, I'm going to give you 20 euro. There's a bus leaving town at noon tomorrow. Be on it. I can't believe it. Councillor McHugh. But, but why? What reason could he have? Ah, David. Oh, very well. Sorry, I'm late. I got caught up in traffic. Not at all, no problem. 
Uh, this is David. Uh, David is a private investigator. Nice to David, meet Siobhan. Uh, David has been doing some investigation into our friend, Councillor McHugh. So David, uh, could you fill in Siobhan on what you found out? Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it appears that Councillor McHugh and his son, who is, recent, who is currently studying to be a civil engineer, they have uh, they've set up their own company and they're on the board of directors. And the company is called Rail Construction Limited. Now recently they co-opted a third person to the company. And this person also happens to be an official in the Department of Transport. I think I smell public and private collusion. <laughs> yeah, you're dead right. You see, Councillor, the Councillor McHugh was told that there was no chance that the railway would be built until the year 2015 at least. And uh, he was also given the nod that his company would be contracted to do the work. And by that time, of course, his son would be fully qualified and he would have him set up in the company. So in other words, thanks to our friend in the Department of Transport, McHugh had an inside track. Yes, no uh, pun intended. That's, that's about the size of it, yes. So you can see why it was in his interest to delay it. <laughs> so now we can proceed without any interruption. Hopefully. to welcome each and every one of you to this historic celebration to mark the completion of our railway line from Calooney to Clare Morris. You better tell your uncle to get ready for his train ride. Don't worry, he'll be ready. I'll now call our Maeve, the chairperson of the local organising committee, to say a few words. And Maeve, keep it brief. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as chairperson of the local organising committee for the reconstruction of the old railway line from Colooney to Clare Morris, I am delighted to say that the project has been completed. I want to especially thank, and I mean this most sincerely, all who gave up their time voluntarily. My hard-working colleagues on the committee, Siobhan and Eilish, and in particular, our dynamic team of supermen and women headed by Sean. Without you, this would not have been possible. Yeah! 
I now have only one thing to say. There's a train leaving town tomorrow. It's the 310 to Clare Morris. Be on it. I've just realised one thing. What's that? We don't have a train. Well, we've heard of something about that. a little detour. Just do exactly as you're told. And no one will get hurt. There. Read this. This is a special announcement. Due to circumstances beyond our control, we have to take a detour. The train is not travelling to Dublin as scheduled its destiny is now Clare Morris via Colony, Coolani, Caramore, Tubber Curry, Curry, Charlestown, Swinford and Kutchima. We apologise for any inconvenience caused. I always wanted to go to Clare Morris. Jeez, at least one of us is happy. I've waited 40 years for this day.
little folks. Guess this is the end of the line, huh? Took a little longer than I thought. Yeah, I'd say nearly twice as long. Yeah, well, we hadn't figured on the interruptions of Councillor McHugh and his cronies. <laughs> Are the big Christmas freeze up? <laughs> Speaking of which, where are spades? Right behind you, partner. Now put your hands up and turn around real slow. Is this some kind of joke? No joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying put here with the widow woman. She's going to try and make an honest man out of me. Guess she can try. And I'll succeed too. You mark my words, I'll succeed. <laughs> <laughs> Adios, amigos. It's been, uh, it's been an experience. Here, let me drive. It's been a year since I've had a ride. It's I'm one of these jokes. <laughs> You're going to have to take a back seat from here on in, Spitz. <laughs> his name is Owen. From now on, his name is Owen. Whatever you say, Beatrice. Whatever you say. I guess the rest of us ought to be heading back. Huh? Well, uh, myself and Seamus, we're, we're, we're heading south. We're, we're teaming up and we're heading to Galway. What? Yeah, it's supposed to join up with the, the one we've just opened. Well, Seamus, I, I thought you'd be well sick of railways by this stage. Well, it was either that or go back to those shagging mules. So, I'll be seeing you sometime. Look me up, partner. Yeah, sure. But, uh, don't hold your breath. I don't know how to say this, Sean, but, you know... Go on. If it wasn't for you, I'd be still rotting away in some bar, you know. I knew I could rely on you. Well, I know. And the boss. If you decide to buy another digger, buy a bigger one. Them small ones are too easily stolen. <laughs> and you get paid for the one I got thick and stolen yet. Yeah, well, you better talk to the committee about that. <laughs> so it's uh, Australia for you, I hear. No, I decided to go back to Porrick. He's asked me to marry him, in a kind of roundabout way. <laughs> I guess your mother would be happy to hear about that. And your father. Wherever he is. You think you'll be okay? You'll uh, make out all right with Porrick? I'll give it a go. You have to be positive, I suppose. Yeah. And I have to say, you weren't very positive when we met back in that pub 12 months ago. No, but you changed that. Thanks very much for everything, Sean. For what? For maybe helping me grow up a little. Sinead, uh, keep in touch. I'd, I'd like to know how you're getting on. I will. And thanks very much for everything, Sean. 